there, Vanag Addicts. It's Ken Wilford here, Van again. Uh, and you're probably saying, why is he showing me the back of a Volvo? <laughs> well, that's a good question. So, me and my wife are on vacation in Florida, took a trip, and we were going to be renting a Chevy Bolt electric car to see what is it like to rent an electric car. I know a lot of you guys don't want to buy one, but maybe renting one is a good option. So, we got to the airport and they had some chevy bolts available but because i'm in hertz's president's circle i could actually pick any car i wanted to out of a line of cars and this volvo xc40 twin motor recharge okay uh was the car that i saw and i'm like you know what if i have my pick i would pick that so we grabbed this car and we have been enjoying it as our rental car for an entire week um, I will tell you that I am a electric car noob. I don't know anything about them as far as I'm not a, a fanboy and all that stuff. But I have been enjoying this vehicle. So one of the cool parts of this car is you do have a key fob. Put it in your pocket. When you walk up to the car, it automatically unlocks. Okay. And then when you get in, it's got a very nice interior. It almost seems like leather, but it's not. It's, I think, re recycled materials is what I was hearing. Um, and so this is the interior of the car. Let me mute this music here real quick so I don't get copyright striked or something. All right, here we go. We'll do that. All right, so this is the interior of the car. Um, you're in here. As you're in here, the car is on. So that means that your AC and everything is working. Uh, we've got this, the AC set on auto, it's set to 72, uh, and it is cooling this thing down pretty quickly. You also do have uh, heated seats with this car, um, and a heated steering wheel on the, on the driver's side, of course, only. Uh, you do not have AC seats. Okay, that's the only thing that I do not like about this car. In Florida, you need air seats. Uh, one of the cool things about this car is that instead of doing like a lot of cars do Android Auto where you have to hook your phone to the car and then or you're streaming your Android Auto from your phone to the car in this car you ha it's based on Google Maps. Okay, so um, everything is based on Google Maps already in the car infotainment system and not only do you get Google Maps over here on this big screen, but here in the middle when you start to go somewhere it pops up on the center of your HUD here in the middle of your instrument cluster, which is all digital in any way. And it shows you exactly like the road you're on, where your next turn is, all that stuff that's all um, displayed right there in the center of your eye vision, which I think is amazing. Um, what other features here? There is some real buttons here. So you have a real button that you can push over here to you know, get to different things. Instead of pushing screens, you could push this button to get the stuff. It has really good AC and heat because here in Florida, we actually did have some cold days. Um, it has a, um, a screen thing in the roof that is like touch. So if you just move your finger across it, uh, and then it has a panoramic roof that opens up. Uh, so it's a really, really sweet vehicle. I, I personally feel it's a sweet car. All right, I'm having fun with this touch controls on this thing. <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause the video, and I'm going to get my wife get in here. She has never drove this thing, uh, and you're going to see how easy it is to drive this. I had never drove one before either, and I jumped in at the airport, adjusted the mirrors, and took off driving it like I had driven it a million years because it basically drives like a regular car. All right, let me go around to the front of the car also. <laughs> So you can see what that's like. I'm showing you the inside. I didn't even show you the front. So it's a good looking car. Uh, and you know, I personally feel like it's a it's a very nice vehicle. All right, let me pause it again. All right, so my wife's gonna drive this. her first time driving this. You push back one to go and drive. And then you step on the gas pedal. All right, so pull it all the way back. There you go, so it says D. All right, now she's ready to go. All she gotta do is push on the gas. And it'll go. Head east, then turn right. And you can kind of see maybe the Google thing in the HUD there, which I really, really like that a lot. 
Um, one of the things about this car is that it is extremely powerful, okay? So when I first got in this car, I was like, you could just feel how powerful this car is. Whoa, this car, yeah, this car has 400 horsepower. Make, all right, keep going, keep going. This car has 400 horsepower. This is the dual motor, twin motor, front and back, okay? This car will smoke 99% of the cars that is on that are on the road, okay? So, oh my gosh. It pushes you back in the seat. Uh, now be careful, there's a speed bump right here. <laughs> and uh, one of the things about this car too is that you can set it to do one pedal driving where you like let off the uh, gas and it starts slowing you way down and you're saving electricity and all that jazz. Um, like the way I have it set up or the way it was set up when I got it, is not like that so you coast you can creep you know all the stuff that you do in a gas car so it doesn't make it weird um all right so i'm gonna make a left up here you know so that way it doesn't feel weird so you know you you get in you put this thing in drive with this one little shifter down here and then you start driving it and it just drives like a normal car you've got your you know this doesn't have a a on off switch or an ignition switch so but you know it senses when you're coming up to the car and pops the locks i don't know if it senses when you leave and locks it i've always just locked it because i don't really trust that part of it but i thought it'd be cool to like let you see my wife drive it you know she's been letting me drive it all week and uh yeah i thought it'd be fun to get her impression of it since you know i've kind of did the uh, takeoffs a few times on her and she's like honey what are you doing ah! and you know <laughs> i mean when, so when you push on the pedal it yeah. pushes you back and into your seat yes. like you are driving a mustang supercharged mustang i mean it is insanity and you know it's funny you're down here in florida on vacation and you see these muscle cars you know are everywhere and people are renting these muscle cars or renting like a mustang and a you know dodge and all this other stuff and you're sitting there going this dumb looking i mean this nice looking i'm sorry very fine looking you know suv could just ruin all these people's days by if they if you're off the line you know off the line i don't know about top speed i don't know about none of that stuff i'm not really like i said this is not an in-depth review <laughs> whatsoever so let me give you an idea of why we rented this so i'm a i, I went to look about car rentals um and the electric car rental was about half of the cost of a gas car okay so say a gas car rental for the week was $500, which I think it pretty much was with Hertz. A electric car was $250, okay? Uh, and like I said, because I'm in the president's circle, I rented the most cheapest electric car they had, the Chevy Bolt. I was prepared to, to drive that for the week, but then I got a chance to just choose this one that was there, so I did. So now I get like basically the Cadillac electric car that they had. They had a Tesla there also. I didn't pick that one because to be honest with you a tesla is definitely not like a normal car there's a big learning curve with how to do everything i mean i was watching videos online in case i could use a tesla instead of the chevy bolt uh and i just decided you know what i don't really want to use that so when i saw this i thought let's take a chance on a volvo right it's a european car uh quality level should be great and it is it's very nice very seats super comfortable um i mean right now we're sitting here at a light uh you could say it's idling quiet well it's pretty much silent because it has no motor no gas motor uh <laughs> so yeah the ac gets really loud that's the only bad part so you know so that the electric car rental was half okay so that might be one thing you're tempted to do that but then you're thinking well, what about charging it so I checked into that and where we were staying, which a lot of places that you stay, hotels and uh, places like that, have electric charging stations there at the hotel. Uh, we are staying at a place called Park Corniche, which we're fixing to get to here in just a minute. 
It's just a condo place here near SeaWorld. They have four chargers there. And so I thought, okay, let me see what happens. So we started out with this car 63% of charge. We drove around for a while. It got down to like 48%. And I said, all right, I'm gonna put this on the charger. Uh, they have, I think it's called a level two charger here at the hotel. And I'm like, okay, I don't know how much this is gonna cost, okay? But I went ahead and got it going. So they have a little charger station there. Uh, how you do it is you find out like who runs the charger station. On that particular one, it's actually run by Shell, the gas company. And you download their app. And then on the charging station itself has a QR code. And it asks you, okay, what station do you want to charge at? You scan the QR code. It says authorizing and then it the light goes to blue which says charging and then on the car you just plug it in like you're plugging in your cell phone at night i mean it's a little bit bigger plug than that and Three just leave it away leave it alone okay so i plugged it in at 40 something percent around uh six o'clock at night and we went to the hotel to spend the night uh about three o'clock in the morning it finished charging all the way to 100%. Turn right on the and National the next Club day, it was 100%. The rest of the week that we were down here, I have never charged it again. Um, so, uh, and the way Hertz does things is if you bring it back with the same amount of charge or more, they don't charge you anything money-wise. So it was 63% charge when we picked it up. If we return it for with a higher charge than that, we won't get charged anything. If you do go below that, it's $25, okay? Now, that's a lot cheaper. Some of you guys rent cars, you know, you turn it in and they have to put gas in it. They beat you up. There's a charge plus the charge of the gas, cost of the gas, and the gas is always like a dollar more a gallon than normal. So even with that, it's a good deal, okay? This place where we're staying here, they let us charge for free, okay? So basically, I've been driving for an entire week, no gas and no cost whatsoever. All right, yeah, so we've been driving for a whole week, no gas, not paying anything for gas, zero for gas, and zero for electricity. Uh, we had to charge it one whole time. Now, we didn't go super far, we went to SeaWorld and back multiple times. We went to Aquatica and back. We drove around Orlando. I mean, if we had went to like out to Cape Canaveral or something like that, we would have probably had to charge it again. So we've been really enjoying this thing. I mean, it's been interesting to, you know, drive an electric car, get to know what it's like. I mean, the, the uh, performance of it has been amazing. And the comfort level of it has been also great. Oh, and we don't have our seatbelts on now. Uh, but we've really been enjoying it. So let me know what you guys think about in the comments below. If you guys are interested, I'll let you know how to, you know, become part of the President Circle. So when you get where you're going, you just push this little button down here that says P for park. And that's it. That's it. There's no turning the car off. You just get out. And it turns itself off and does what it's doing. Okay, so very easy, simple to drive and operate. Like I said, Google everything on here, whether it be, you know, your maps, Google Maps, if you know how to use them. Uh, YouTube, I guess you can watch that if you're sitting still, probably. Google Assistant, Google Store. There's certain apps. Yeah, it has Cirrus on this, but you have to pay for that. Uh, all that kind of stuff is built in. So... If you get a chance to rent one of these, I would recommend it. You know, I would recommend it. And it might even save you some money because, you know, like I said, the rental of the electric cars is cheaper right now. And then there's a lot of places that you can stay that the electricity is free. And so you can be traveling for a week or two somewhere and basically just pay your car rental fee and that's it. So I guess that's it for this video, guys. Like, share, subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you want me to tell you how I got the upgrade because you can do that for free. Uh, and 
just like I did and be able to not have to drive the cheapest car. You pay for the cheapest car, but you can drive anything in this one lineup, which a lot of times is a lot of nicer cars are there. Uh, and you can do that for free. Okay, but uh, there's a secret to it. There's a trick to it. I can make a whole new video, another video, tell you guys how to do it if you want me to. If you don't, tell me I don't care and I won't do it. That's it, guys. Like, share, subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next video.